Ugandan opposition leader Robert Cheangulani, popularly known as musician Bobby Wine, openly criticized Uganda's human rights practices during his visit to the United States. In an appearance here in Washington Wednesday on VOA's Straight Talk Africa television program, the pop star turned politician confronted Uganda's ambassador to the United States, Mal Mul Sebuja Katende, and complained about his recent arrest and alleged torture. The Ugandan government has denied that Wine was tortured. Wine was arrested last month after being accused of attacking the motorcade of longtime President Yoweri Museveni during clashes between opposition supporters and supporters of the government. Wine says he and 33 others, including four members of parliament, were arrested the next day and charged with treason. Wine says they were brutally beaten while in custody. He later sought treatment in the United States. Ambassador Katende told Straight Talk Africa host Shaka Sali, and I quote here, Uganda does not condone torture. He also said Uganda is committed to respect for human rights. Wine has also called on the United States to stop sending military aid to Uganda because of its human rights record. Here's an excerpt of the conversation between Bobby Wine and Ambassador Katende. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, you are next to me and I'm sure right now you can see my skin still peeling off out of the beatings. I'm sure you can look at my nose and see the broken bone. I'm sure you can look at my eye and see the, the, the scars. Look, torture is a technical matter. The Honorable Bobby Wine cannot come here and say, look at my nose, broken. How do I? I, I, I I'm not a doctor. All that will have to surface in the, in the, in the courts of law. You talked about um, the Uganda Human Rights Commission and said they are going to come up uh, with a report. I have news for you, Mr. Ambassador. That report came out and it clearly narrated the state in which they found me. So I request that you do your homework and find out the real facts that are going on in Uganda. Now, you said that the report has come out. Fine. That's okay. The report, whatever it is, it will be respected. Well, Bobby Wine was swept into the Ugandan legislature, riding a wave of support from the nation's youth. And since then, his popularity has soared as he battled the ruling party over removing age limits that have pay, has paved the path for Museveni to rule for life.